the Commissioner of Police, community leaders, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone I do, Baba. Uh, today I'm here again. You know I'm one of you. I can trace part of my roots to this community. That is why every time and any time I get a call from you, I am instantly moved to make sure we take immediate action. I am happy that you continue to maintain the peace. I am happy that as a result of the meetings we had the last time, you've organized yourselves, you've organized vigilantes, and you have taken the security, the, the security of this, your communities seriously. And you have also put in your own resources to secure your community. I really appreciate all you have been doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are here again. It's usually at this time of the year. But we will not allow continue. I wish you invited the leaders of the Hausa Fulani community to this meeting because they live in the community. It's important that next time we do, and when we are having meetings like this, that we bring them. What I'm doing now is to make sure that we separate the issue of security from that of politics. That's why I'm very happy with what you are doing here. I'm very glad with the messages and the addresses I heard from your representatives. We will not accept the issue of criminality in our communities. We've always lived with headsmen who look for places for pasture. And those ones we know have always acted responsibly because they own those assets. They own, they own those cows and they are their property. But the ones we are seeing now clearly behave as if they're, they're doing more than um, herding. We know that many of them rustle cows and bring to these parts so that they can fatten and quickly sell them. The way they are behaving here, I'm sure that is how they stole those cows and quickly brought them down here. So they are criminals and we will take care of them. I'm glad you said that you've always lived with the House Act Fulani community in this place. So that is, coexistence is not a problem. The problem you have is the criminal elements who now go and occupy the forests rather than come out and go to the areas that have been, you've given them to graze. That's why I'm here with the Brigade Commander and the Commissioner of Police and the director of DSS. Immediately we will swing into action. Immediately we will swing into action and commence an operation immediately, working with your uh, information from your vigilantes to clear them out of our forests. Anybody who is going to graze or head their cattle here must be known to us. They must register with the community. So that there's somebody we can hold responsible. We don't want what happened a few years ago to happen again, where the anger was now spread. Um, Brigade Commander CP, when we finish, we'll have the conversation. I'll give you the history as we plan the operations to vacate these criminal elements from the forests. 
Your security is my main concern. And I will make sure, by the grace of God, I fulfill, I make, make this place secure. I haven't forgotten any of my promises. I made them. You didn't force me to make them. The road, I'm surprised that you haven't been connected. Because, um, that's honorable cycle, but we have made all the payments. We have made all the payments for the connection. We paid our own contribution. I'm sure Kumo also made their own contribution. So I will find out why that connection has not been done. In terms of the road, yes, you are correct. The budget has been passed. The uh, survey has been done. And before, this, before the rain starts, we'll start work on your road. I'm here to appeal to you to continue to maintain the peace. We will not leave you alone. And in terms of financing, I remember that under our independent farmers initiative, we gave fertilizer and inputs to members of this community. Okay, so this time around, it will be a priority. Honorable uh, Sagobo, uh, uh, please note. Okay, so that we can give what they need for before the next planting season. By the grace of God, <laughs> by the grace of God, we will not experience what we experienced two years ago. And we'll continue to protect all of you, particularly our women, so that they can go back to their farms. Thank you very, very much. Traditional rulers of Udo and environs, the State Commissioner of Police, the Brigade Commander of Fort Brigade, the Commander. Civil Defense Corps, so the government of Edo State, we are on a fact-finding tour around some parts of the state today to assess the security situation, particularly as it relates to farmers and herders' conflicts in the state. As a government, we do not believe that we should politicize security. It is important that we get the facts right. And to understand what exactly is going on. We had reports about a crisis or impending crisis around this axis. We've also had all sorts of anxieties and, well, I will call them speculations in social media about headsmen being pushed up from neighboring states into this area or, and uh, the escalating crisis or impending crisis as a result of. Ah, so glad to hear from you that yes, you have situations that have resulted into conflicts between headers and farmers. Our position is that we have to manage this crisis like you have done carefully. Like I said, we should not politicize the issues of the head, um, headsmen um, in our society. We do not accept the situation of anybody herding with AK-47s and dangerous weapons. We also understand that, and we have evidence that there are bandits 
and criminals who pretend to be headers but who undertake other criminal activities such as kidnapping in the name and guise of being headsmen. I've always argued that we should separate these people and deal with each one accordingly. Today we are here to just do an assessment, undertake an assessment ourselves, and to come and assure the people of of your northeast, sorry, of your southwest, and Udo and its environs, that there is adequate security. I mean, adequate security being provided by the government of Edo State to protect the lives and property of Edo people. The security structure of Edo State has been rejigged and revamped. Our, brig our brigade commander, Brigadier Sadiq, is new and he was posted here for a purpose. Our commissioner of police, Mr. Philip Badi, is new and he was posted here for a purpose. We also have a new director of the DSS who unfortunately had to travel out to Abuja. Our commander for civil defense is also relatively new. I had to go to and personally request, in some cases, for this very, very professional and experienced hands when it comes to security. There's so much we have been doing as a state, and we cannot discuss security matters in the press, and we will not. And we also will not accept any situation where people want to use the security challenges we're currently experiencing to destabilize our country, because we have no other country. Every country has its own challenges and looks for ways to resolve those challenges. There's no doubt that we have major security challenges in the country, as indeed the whole of the Sahelian region. And I think leadership in this country should be responsible and make sure that we focus on the specific crisis, some of which is not anybody's doing. Some of the crisis we have in the subcontinent today has to do with environmental challenges. So we should all come together and look for ways to confront these emerging security problems and not begin to take it out of context, context because of cheap political gains to create crisis in the country. I want to assure you, I hear say that whatever you observe, whatever emerging situations that could lead to crisis, please, as usual, just pick up the phone and call. In fact, we have established a command and control center in government house where reports can be made instantaneously and there will be a response immediately. I want to thank you for continuing to provide leadership and to assure you of my unflinching support for the progress of not only this uh, Udo, but all the communities around. I received a WhatsApp message a few days ago from one of the audience ways of which one of the communities around here? Which? Huh? Ugolo. Ugolo. Um, have you been able to contact them? I had said you should go and contact them so that we get the exact situation report on what is going on in those communities. We will pursue every case we hear about. Please 
continue to have faith and trust in your government. Thank you very much. The type of uh, Hausa Fulani that live with us. But I'm very happy with what Elijah Buhari has said, that we must know everybody who is here, who lives in this community. Anybody who say is a headsman cannot just carry his cattle and say the cattle should be moving around this area without you giving them paper. So that if anything goes wrong, we know who has done it. The problem we're having now is that some of these people say they are husbands. They, they are not the people you know. Some of them carry automatic weapon and use it to kidnap people. That is not the one we, that is not, not what we used to know. We know most of you are peaceful people. Most Fulani and Hausa people in our community are peaceful. They've done business and they continue to do their own business. But there are some of them who are coming now who are criminals. And they are giving Hausa Fulani a bad name. So you have to help us for us to bring them out. We, you also help us so that we can protect you. You understand? Government, I am very, very, you know, I'm governor of everybody in Edo, so I have to protect everybody in Edo. But you have to help us so that we do not risk the lives of ordinary and hard-working, household and people in our communities. I don't want us to politicize security. We have to make sure that all those people who are carrying out criminal acts, we fish them out. <laughs> Serenki, you have to help us. You have to give us information. And we will protect that information, and we will protect the people who are giving that information. Because when they come, people see them. They speak a language you know that this person, we are not sure. If you can quickly give us information, we'll move to make sure we stop the activity. The second issue is that of people's cows just going into other people's farm. Why we are worried is, it's not, you know, it's bad enough, say somebody, if your cow will go chop another man's uh, farm. But when you, they come carry a gun, can they shoot the person and get the farm? No problem, they. We form association, there's committee in every local government that is supposed to sit down to discuss the issue of these uh, headers and farmers. Chairman, that committee must meet and every case that come up, we, you must let us know. I also hope that we can now create area where those cattle can go. They cannot live there. Because, Alaji, the days when they, they take cattle waka for many, many miles, it don't pass. And she'll say, our father, feed, create land and an area. And they will grow grass. I'll give them a monument that grow the grass when cattle they eat. Make the cattle do that side. Make them know they go other people farm. <laughs> so that when we come over here, we now say, okay, if you go this side, now they're cattle day. Outside there, we don't want to see them for the other area. You understand? And then go get the food when they eat, then go fat for them. So that way, we will reduce this conflict between the uh, cow people and the farmers. Is that clear? So in this one I'm meeting, we're going to discuss, look at other areas. Because one thing, when constant for life, not change. We're not going to do the same thing when we do 50 years ago, 100 years ago today. It's not going to work. We have to look for a way to change 
the way we they do things. But the one when the warriors pass, they say they they are some bad people, bad people, criminals. Some of them not be Nigerians, even though they, they speak Hausa or Fulani, they not be Nigerians. We know those people they get their own agenda. Now then they do kidnapping. And when you ask when they do this kidnapping and they take this money, what did they take and do? They did they take and buy more guns to they do more kidnapping. Those people now we not want. And we must drive them out of Edo State. <laughs> See those two boys when they died that day now. We don't know who killed them. Because too many guns for people's hand. And many of these people, they bring the guns, come. So, the message from me, we say, make a committee, make a sit down, make a talk. Make a also help governments bring information. At least when we see something, not keep quiet. Bring them out, tell us, tell somebody quiet. They're not going to know who talk. They're not going to know who give the information. Soldier day, police day, DSS day, we will look for a way to go block them so that everybody will be safe. When I hear me, as governor, I'm not going to leave alone. I'm not going to leave now. Make anything happen to now. I'll be governor of everybody for Edo State. Governor of Edo people and non Edo people. I'll be governor of Hausa people. Governor of Fulani people, Governor of Ijo people, anybody when they are those states, I'll be their governor. <laughs> and I don't swear to the Constitution, say I must protect Una. But Una will help me, give me information, give us information on how to help Una. We don't open special telephone lines for government house when we call command and control center. You get many things when we they do. Now go see say we get some constables now when we don't train for everywhere. There are many other things when we they do with security. That was CP, you just come. You get a lot of experience for security. Our brigade commander, he just come. Our director of DSS, he just come. Everybody when they in charge of our security in this state, they all come in the last three months. Because we want to make sure, say, we fight the issue of security in a door. Before I complete my small speech, let us separate the issue of security from politics. When I go to read for internet, they go to circulate the same story about people, you know? Oh, and I saw this thing happen here, and those things happen here. Many times, most of those stories are not true. Now, just to create anxiety, some people not happy, to create problems for Nigeria, to destabilize the country. They would circulate fake, uh, fake news and bad news. Yes, we are, uh, we are not saying that there is no security challenge. There is. But let us focus and deal with those security challenges in the interest of our country. And people should stop making unguarded utterances about security and the security situation in this country. Such statements do not help the security situation. And at the end of the day, all of us will be at risk. I want to thank our royal father, Yas Nudo, for the leadership that you continue to provide in this area. I want to thank all our community leaders for speaking up. I want to thank you for pro helping us with solutions. Our market women do not be afraid. Tell the women that we will protect them. Sariki, we trust you. You are being with us. You are one of us. 
Let us all work together so that we can bring peace to Edo. I thank all of you.